Let me tell you something, Nicholas. Oh, no, Nicholas. Ten minutes ago, you said to me you haven't worked in two years because you're waiting for shoulder surgery on both of your shoulders. Yes. Now you're telling me that you needed an awful lot of strength Boy. to pull this window down. You were the one who pulled the window down, and you do all the maintenance around the house. Yeah, lightly. You want to tell me why you can't work? I, I mean, honestly, I have... No, I want you to be dishonest with me. No. I want you to look at this face, and I want you to be dishonest with me. He's a nice guy or not, whether he's a bum or not, he's a bum that you picked to make two children with. Mm -hmm. And if Fact. he shows up to see the children on a Wednesday, and he's given you some indication that he wasn't going to be there on Wednesday, and for no other reason than he said he wasn't going to come, you don't let your children see him, that's wrong. But that, is it? That's wrong. It's not between the two of you. He could be the biggest bum in the world. He lived with his children. His children know who he is, that they have a right to see their father. One payment mm -hmm. of $100, mm -hmm. and you sold the horse to her for $1,500, which means she owes you $1,400. Yes. Right? Yes. Good. Judgment on the clown to claim for $1,400. We're done. Thank you. How does our excuse when they step out? I just driver's license and your mother didn't take the car back she hasn't you. had the car in her possession for two years because i was going through a divorce and her stepfather had the car until a week before he and there just a second and then you gave it to her just a second then you gave it to her despite the fact that two years went by she didn't get a driver's license i had been teaching her great I, perfect you so pay the ticket that's all oh, are you kidding me why is that excuse me step out what happened, Mr. Howell? Why did she leave? Well, she, Melissa had to leave for a number of reasons. The main reason was because Melissa was incapable of doing her work. She was smoking and drinking. Her action became so bizarre, it was hilarious at times, dangerous at times. And I had to um, replace her on, on, on more than one occasion with makeup artist because she just could not function. When you say she was drinking, you mean she was intoxicated? Well, she was drinking and her behavior would lead me to be if she was intoxicated. But I Give me an example. Um, on Saturday the oh 24th my God. of January, I got on set and I was like, yo, you need to go talk to Melissa. I'm like, what's going on? And they say, I don't know what's up. So I went over to her and she was like, why? Why? Oh, I got it. I got yes, you honor. I, because <laughs> he was like that. I was like, Melissa, what's going on? Why? Why? Oh, God, that was so great. <laughs> you were speeding to such an extent that you couldn't stop in a safe way. Let's move on. You pull up next to the <gasps> car. What is she thinking. doing with her face? You pull up next to the car. This <laughs> that according to you, caused you oh, to have God. to employ your emergency brake. Because I'm sorry, but just, 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 just stop. I'm still speaking. Okay, yeah, sure. Oh. Mm. Look, look at the bitch braids. <laughs> You're an idiot. Working? No. Where did you get $700 from? I was receiving cash aid. You were receiving public assistance? Yes. Mm -hmm. So you were saving your welfare money. How are you living? I was living at my father's house. So what were you receiving cash aid for? Cash aid huh? for, I have another son, so I was receiving money to buy him. They were giving me for clothes and... So why didn't you buy him clothes? I was, now. So you mean the government gives you enough money so you could take care of your baby, take care of your other child, and still save $700? Yes, I was able to save up $700. <laughs> <laughs> I have other things to do today. Oh my God, Car. Sorry. Okay, first, I work for a minimum wage job. I barely get paid. I needed a car to get back and forth to work. She gave me $130, told her not to worry about it. But she had to know that you needed $130. Yes. She How would she know that? Because I told her. What did you say to her? I said, no, no, I'm look getting a car. You. I told her I was getting a car, and but my check was only this much. And it, I asked her to go if she would take me up there, and she gave me $130. Up where? To get the car. You asked her if she would take you up there to get the car? Yes. You mean drive you? Yes. Okay, so she took you up there to get the car. Yes. And? She told me, she said, because I didn't have enough money, 
She gave me well, what did you go up there and get the car for if you didn't have enough money? Because I talked to the guy, was, he was a friend of mine. He was letting me make payments to him. Yes. So I got up there. Yes. And he said, no, I got to have this much. And I told her, and she said, I'll go to the ATM. I really wanted to see the part where she called this nice looking guy a loser. Who do you live with? My witness. Oh, he is. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. How do you support yourself? Uh, my mom pays my rent. Your mother pays you rent? Yeah. She would do anything not to have you live home. If I were your mother, I would do anything not to have you live home too. You make a mistake, that's what you have to do. Make a mistake, you did something wrong, you negligently ruined her iPhone, you have to pay for that. It's as simple as that. Mm -hmm. so isn't that rocket science? What is rocket science? Mm -hmm. Rocket science is when the scientists find out things about space. <laughs> Oh, God. I think. Oh, honey, no. Face that I'd like to wipe off. Don't put it back on your face. I was sitting in family court at the time. So you are very <gasps> lucky that nobody arrested you. You're very lucky that they didn't charge you, because if you were in my ballpark, you would be spending some time <gasps> with Shelly. Meanwhile, it's going to cost you and your family oh $5,000, because that's what she's suing for, and that's what she's going to get. And I certainly hope that your mother gets you some help. <gasps> Otherwise, you're going to be a miserable person your whole life. That's all. Thank you. Misunderstood by whom? He ran because he had was on probation and he was scared to get into trouble. <laughs> I, I Just a second. I'm not kidding. <laughs> okay. Let's fix some of the windows. Is that coffee? Oh my god. My <laughs> god. Right, Mr. Pexi, live until you're 150. You're not no. going to be as smart as I am in one finger. I want you to trust me on this because I, being in your position, would never humiliate myself in front of 10 million people. Never. Well, there was eight other people at this auction she scanned. She doesn't like to work. She likes to make babies. She likes to make babies. She thinks that that's there other people She thinks that, that you have to be smart to make babies. Don't speak, speak, speak to me until I speak to you. Don't speak to me. Until I speak oh to God. you, you have to find something else to do with your time constructively other than make children who are going to grow up with no moral compass like their mother. Judgment for the plaintiff in the amount of $5,000. Oh. That's all. Thank you. <laughs> Give me what was stolen. My wallet. What I was in to, your wallet? It was 50 bucks. Okay. I had to replace all my IDs. I had gift cards in there, my earpiece, and a calculator. There was no earpiece in the mail. <laughs> <laughs> Judging for the plaintiff for the amount of five hundred dollars. That's what I think it's worth, madam. <laughs> He's going to end up with full custody of the child because this judge is not going to take nonsense from you. It's clear to me. I'm, I'm just, I'm just telling you, this judge who heard your case is not going to take nonsense from you. If you find a reason to fudge with the custody arrangement, because this man is not giving up. And what happens in situations like this is, if there is an uh, obstreperous parent who undercuts another parent, what's going to happen is you're going to lose custody of this child. I just want you to understand, I'm giving you the benefit of my crystal ball. Nothing wrong in your home to cause your eight-year-old to make a false allegation. Do you understand that? I understand. So, Miss White, you have oh. no case against him. You ought to thank him because he was being a father. Stepped up to the plate and he was being a father. <gasps> you're not the victim here. You're absolutely correct oh. because he's a father and you're the mother. You're equal. Wow! Currently has holes in Hiram and Atlanta. Those are for tickets, driving tickets. Right. So, so far we have $1,200 to fix your car. Mr. Brown, I'm just going to give you a word of advice. She liked you. You understood that, yes, right? Yes, Your Honor. She didn't just like you to come and hook up occasions. She liked you. If what she wanted was the same exact thing that you wanted, that's great, you know? She's not to do that. She's, you know, single, I assume. If she just wants a casual relationship like that, that's fine. When you fine. get keys, but keys to the apartment. Listen, 
Did he ever introduce you to his family? No. no. But Did he ever, just a second. No, oh, that's not a but. Yeah, I have questions. I know. Did he ever I introduce you? In words, right. Yeah. Of the original order. I'd like to see it. I, you know, if you allow me a couple of seconds to find it, I didn't know I was Absolutely. going to Absolutely. I allow up. you to, a couple of seconds to answer my questions. Not to vent. You want to vent? Go to see a therapist. She's, you're angry. Your I'm not anger really doesn't that angry. Make, anger doesn't make a lawsuit, I'm more Mr. frustrated Bouchard. with you not allowing me the latitude to, to elaborate on a couple of issues. You'll just have to suffer with that, sir. Yeah, perhaps. No, I'm telling you, definitely. Shh, quiet. Here's the, I believe, the original order. Thank you. And here is the order that uh, some years later, after the alleged fraud incident for the adoption. Under the law. 1996! Even if you don't know that he's only 16. Oh my God. And I might be fooled. Look at her hair. His appearance. Yeah, I gotta pause it for a sec. She's a Karen haircut. I'm sorry. I had to say it. Her hair looks like a Karen haircut. That's you. That's me. <laughs> Judgment in this case is for the plaintiff in the amount of $152. Thank you. Uh, That's it? You step out. I'd like to add one more thing. Go ahead. Um, I'm extremely uh, appalled at the lies by the defendant claiming that I threatened her and that she called me. She did not call me at home. She did call me on my pager. I uh, did return her call uh, originally, and she was extremely... Uh, Mr. Valdez, you just yeah. won. Oh. Take your briefcase and go. Yes. Who is for green? That's me. Oh my gosh. So you wrote to her, you're probably not up, but do you all feel sick? Not from the food. What does this mean? I am LMAO, uh, laughing my ass off. Oh, thank you. <laughs> like a cold sick. And then you say, LOL, laugh out loud. Laugh out loud. I have a little <laughs> cough that comes and